Hello my YouTube friend Pop Comics here and today we have a giant pile of packages full of comic books to open. This is going to be a ton of fun. All right, let's start digging into these packages. Uh, okay, so this was, I think, four different eBay lots I won. Uh, total price was $141.16 for 23 comic books. So what is that, like four, five, six dollars a comic book, something like that? Yeah, just a little bit over $6 each. The thing is, there's one lot in here that I bid like $200 for that I really wanted. I want it for $50. So I think overall, all the comic books I got for a great price. All right, let's open up this box and see what's inside. Okay, so this box just has uh, paper inside and then the comics in the, just a stack in the middle. All right, let me pull them out. Okay, I have a whole stack here of Golden Age stuff, a lot of cartoony stuff. Uh, I think the cartoon stuff, I won the lots of, I, it was like lots of five to seven comics each, I think. And the lots I won for like 15 to 20. So it's probably like three to four dollars a comic book for the cartoon stuff. And then there's the other lot that I was willing to pay up to $200 for. So we'll, I don't know if that's maybe in the back, we'll find it. So we have new funnies. I don't see the number, but it's a fun Andy Panda cover. Love that one. Uh, new funnies, Woody Woodpecker, and Woody Woodpecker there as well. Uh, these are maybe like three fives. Uh, Porky Pig 271 Del Four Color. That one's cool. Love that cover. I have a better condition one, so that one's a bit beat up. Uh, Porky Pig number 73. Porky Pig number 385, so that's a Del Four Color. Okay, let's flip. This one looks cool. Let's flip it. It looks like a Disney. Uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs or Del Four Color number 382. That is cool. I actually, back in the day, maybe like 20 years ago, uh, uh, there's a thing called Atlantic City in New Jersey, in Atlantic City, where it was like a giant, giant, big convention center full of antiques and collectibles. I miss it. It was kind of right when eBay was first starting out. And it, so not a lot of people were selling it online yet. So there's one vendor who had giant stacks of uncirculated comic books and he had like 50 copies of this and i decided to grab one for four bucks and i flipped it on ebay real quick for 20 bucks i always kind of regret selling it so it's kind of nice to get another copy so that is awesome although the one this one is probably mid-grade like a five maybe which is still very nice the one i sold though is probably like a high grade that is cool that was actually for the price i paid i'm really happy with that uh tom and jerry not sure the number but that is super cool and looks in pretty decent shape too I think that's why I bid on a lot of these because they look like they're a good, like maybe three fives at the low end up to like sixes and sevens. Uh, Frosty Snowman or Del Four Color 359. That's cool. So that's more on like a little bit on the lower end, but still awesome. Uh, Roy Rogers. I don't see the number. I don't really click the cowboy stuff, but you know, the lot had a few. A uh, little iodine. Don't know the number, but I just thought it was a cute cover. I probably bid on this lot just for that issue because I'm kind of working on that series a little bit. I've been picking them up a little bit here and there. Uh, okay, these are all backwards. We have uh, the famous Talking Mule Francis or Del Four Color 621. I do like collecting the Del Four Colors because you can get them on lots like this for relatively cheap. So I think that's a run that I'm going to be able to put the, you know, at least the later issues. Some of the early Del Four Colors, like the first appearances and stuff, that stuff gets expensive. So we have an I Love Lucy issue. Uh, oh, a Pogo. Okay. This is cool. I kind of want to collect more Walt Kelly stuff because I absolutely love his artwork. It's just so fun and whimsical. And that one's really cool. And it looks in the, you know, the condition is pretty decent. Good mid-grade, like a 5.5. Five. Uh, okay, so this might be the lot that I was willing to pay $2.50 now. So I think this is one in there because I kind of remember seeing the Dog Face Dually in there, number three. That's cool. It's the second issue I have from the series. I think it's only like five or six issues, but I love the covers. So I kind of want to get another one. This one looks a bit tanned and brown, but no like major tears or anything. Really happy with that. That's pretty cool. Uh, we have the Cats and Jammer Kids number 21. That is really cool. Uh, okay, so these are the comic books I was bidding on. So we have Wilbur number 44. Ah, uh, looks like maybe a four to five condition. That is really cool. So that's one comic book I probably would normally pay like 20 to 30 for. And I won the lot for... 50, I think. So it was like $5 a comic book. Uh, Bedroom Veronica, number 60, coverless. Uh, Dennis the Menace in Hollywood, number 7. This one's kind of beat up. I knew there was one or two beat up ones. Okay, so the next comic book is the reason why I bought this lot. And I, the reason why I was willing to pay up the 200 for the lot. You know, stuff like this and the Dog Face Dually. Also probably like $10 to $20. So that added value. Not this one. This one's beat up. 
but we have Archie number 59 and this looked like it was in pretty decent shape. Uh, these are all like they sealed it in these bags. I'm going to I kind of don't want to open it because I don't have Golden Age bags at the moment. Uh, but it looks pretty decent. Like I don't see any big tears or chunks out of it. So it might be like a it's a little bit chippy right here. So I don't know if it's complete. I'll have to look, but if it's, the interior is good, I think this is a solid like four or five. That's a really nice grade for Archie number 59. Beautiful cover. That issue was one I was kind of willing to pay up to, I think 50 bucks for just because it looked like it was decent shape. It's kind of hard to get these early Archies in that kind of shape. So really happy with that. Uh, Super Duck number 43. This one is uh, I'm working on Super Duck as well. So this is pretty awesome. Looks also to be probably like a four, four, five. It has a little bit of a stain there and it's a little bit tanned, but there's no major damage. So if the interior is good, that's really nice. Okay, and then this is the other issue I really wanted in this lot. Archie number 70, beautiful cover. Uh, I do remember seeing that corner is like sun faded a little bit. The spine's a little bit torn up, but overall, I think this is still probably like a four, oh, three, five. No, four, oh. It's got a little bit of a stain, but overall it looks really nice. So that's great. So I pay. Oh, and then topper number 18. This one might be an early Peanuts appearance. I got to double check that. Cause, yeah, so I double check this is an early Peanuts appearance. Uh, my comic shop is trying to sell a 2.5 for 90 bucks. And uh, this one looks higher. This is probably like a 3.5 to a 4. So beautiful. I think I got a steal on that one. And then let me see, this next comic book I think was in a different lot I won from them. Yeah, that's from the next lot. So basically, I won it for $53 plus shipping for, oh, yeah, I think Pogo Possum was in here too. Super Duck. Yeah, so I, I paid $50 for this whole lot here, you know, hundred dollars for that maybe. These are probably worth like 50 bucks. That's kind of what I was thinking. I was thinking if I won the lot i was bidding 200 thinking it would be like 40 to 50 each on the two archies maybe 50 on that to 100 but 50 is like if i bought it for 50 i thought it would have been a steal so we're at like 150 and then the rest of these i think maybe like 10 bucks a piece maybe a little bit more so that's why i oh yeah and the wilbur too it's probably like 20 bucks oh and i really wanted the dog face dually so uh yeah I, I was willing to bid actually i think i did bid 200 dollars for everything and I want it for like $53. I thought that was just an amazing deal. I cannot believe I got that. The total price I paid for everything was just over $140 with shipping, which means, you know, the two Archies and the topper alone is worth more than that, which is kind of amazing. Okay, so we have Robin Hood 413 or Del Four Color. So I think we have some Disney stuff too. We have uh, Walt Disney Comic Stories 177. This one has a bit of a subscription crease, but other than that, it's not too bad. Uh, Walt Disney's Comic and Stories 176. I said earlier in the year, I kind of wanted to get from issue number 100 to 200 this year. So I think I'll be trying to buy a few more lots over the next few months. Uh, number 174. Not too bad. Good, like, 3-5-ish conditions on these. Uh, this one's damaged. Just got a chunk. So that one's not really worth anything. Uh, number 171. That one I'm pretty sure I have already. So some of these I will end up selling. And I think I'd probably be able to get like 5 bucks, $10 a piece on these. Depending on condition. Uh, 142. Really love that cover. That cover is nice and it's very clean looking. Good condition. Uh, Walt Disney Comics 145. Uh, that cover is cool on that one. Uh, Walt Disney Comics and Stories number 143. Love that cover too. And uh, Walt Disney Comic and Stories 134. Awesome, like, Halloween-themed cover. This package was amazing. I think it was, like, four different auctions I won, but that Archie lot, that was so cool. Like, it's so rare to be able to score on old-school Archies for such a great price. All right, awesome package. Uh, okay, so this is a package of 43 comic books I paid $51 for. Uh, just a lot of really cool, like, Miss Marvel and Gwenpool comic books. And I just decided to get it because I needed a bunch of these issues. All right, let's open up the box and see what I got. Okay, so in this box, it's just like a brick of comic books and bubble wrap. Okay, so we have the, this whole stack here. I paid a little bit over a dollar each. And honestly, I feel like this is all stuff if I pull it out of a dollar bin, I'd be thrilled. So it's kind of like I did an online dollar bin, kind of. So we have the Magnificent Miss Marvel number four. And number three, I don't have a lot from this series, so I'm actually really happy to get those. Uh, the Mighty Captain Marvel number zero. 
Captain Marvel number nine. Captain Marvel, Miss Marvel number four, or Marvel Team Up number four. Uh, Captain Marvel, Bravier and Mightier number one. The Life of Captain Marvel number three. Beautiful cover. Uh, True Believers, Captain Marvel number one. So a reprint of that issue. Uh, the Life of Captain Marvel number three, variant edition. Kind of a beautiful cover. A Magnificent Miss Marvel number two. And number one, those are super cool. Uh, Marvel Action Captain Marvel number three. And number four. I do like these because these are kind of aimed for little kids. So I think long term, these will be kind of hard to get in good shape. Uh, Captain Marvel number one, variant edition. That's cool. Miss Marvel number eight. Love this cover. I think this one has a bit of value. That's probably like a five to eight dollar comic book. So that's pretty cool. Um, Magnificent Miss Marvel annual number one. I don't have that one, so that's cool. Miss Marvel number nine, another one has a little bit of value, so that's cool. Uh, Marvel Team Up number four variant edition, that's cool. I actually really happy with these. Uh, Spider Gwen 34, this one has a little bit of, of a dent, but that's okay. Uh, Spider Gwen Ghost Spider number 10, these are cool. Ghost Spider number three, actually really happy to get a bunch of these too, because I don't have them. Uh, Ghost Spider number two, Ghost Spider number four, Ghost Spider number nine. Ghost Spider number 8. Uh, Spider Gwen number 33. Spider Gwen number 22. Spider Gwen number 23. Cool cover. Uh, Spider Gwen 28. Oh, a couple copies of that. So it'll be easy for me to pull one of these out. And I'm sure this is the kind of thing I'd probably get like 3 bucks for. So that pays for a good chunk. Uh, we have a scroll variant of Spider Gwen number 5. That is cool. Oh, another duplicate of that. Uh, Spider Gwen 21. Spider Gwen number one variant edition. That one I'm gonna have to look up because that, you know, that's a variant, so that might actually have some value to it. Uh, Spider Gwen number two, Spider Gwen number three, Spider Gwen number two, another variant that I'm gonna look up. Uh, Spider Gwen number four, Mark Brooks variant. Love this one. I think I actually just bought this one for 10 or 15 bucks. Yeah, so some of these actually might have a lot of value. This lot was really good. Uh, Spider Gwen number five, radioactive Spider Gwen number six. Uh, Spider Gwen number 11, Spider Gwen number 20, uh, Spider Gwen number 15, Spider Gwen 14, Spider Gwen number 13, uh, and Spider Gwen number 12, a retailer summit variant. Not sure. I think all the variants still probably have some value. I'm going to look them all up and give you an idea what they're worth. Okay, so I looked uh, the variants up on eBay real quick. This one goes for like 10 to 12 plus shipping, so that's awesome. Uh, this one is probably like 4 to 7 plus shipping, which I think I, I bought it total price around $10 with shipping recently. Uh, this one doesn't really sell for much, maybe like 5 bucks, but I don't think it's too easy to get. Uh, this one's probably like 3 to 5 plus shipping. This one I think is about 5 plus shipping. And then these are probably like 2 or $3 dollars. Maybe $4 worth of shipping. So pretty cool, actually. All these variants kind of pay for the whole lot, and then everything else is for free. Really happy with that lot. It was awesome. Okay, this package is fun. It's two comic books I bought from Hip Comics. I paid $57.37. Uh, it's kind of fun old Golden Age stuff. All right, let's open up this package and see what's inside. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a box of two Golden Age comic books I won for a good price on Hip Comics. Okay, so I got... Uh, Bob Hope number two. This one is, uh, they list it as a uh, fine condition or fine minus. So, uh, you know, it has a little bit of creasing, but overall looks in pretty decent shape. So that one was 40 bucks plus shipping. Really happy with that. I do want to put a full run of Bob Hope together. So I figured number two, that not bad, right? Number one is going to be kind of pricey, but that was cool. And then I got a uh, date with Judy number 18. This one they called a uh, very good plus, which... Uh, that corner is kind of chipped up and there's a crease here. So I don't think it's a very good price. I think it's more like a three, five or like a good plus, maybe a very good minus, maybe a very good, it might be a four, but either way, it looks pretty good. It's presentable. There's no major damage. So I'm actually really happy with that. Really, really fun cover. I love it. Uh, okay, this is a comic book I really, really wanted to buy about 10 years ago. At the time, it was 37 bucks, and I just wasn't ready to pay 37 I thought it was a little high. 
but it's super rare. It's kind of a ghost. I haven't been able to see it. I mean, I barely ever see it listed online. I saw on Macari for $150. I had a $50 credit to use on there. If you guys haven't used Macari, I still have a referral link in the description below. You can check it out. I do buy comics occasionally on there. You sometimes find some really good deals or just some rare comic books. And in this case, this is a rare comic book. I paid $150 and I'm really happy I finally have it. All right, let's open up this package. Okay, yeah, so this is a comic book. It's one of my regrets. The issue after this, the variant's even more. I think it was $100 back in the day and like, I just could never find it listed and I tried to buy it and I bought the Italian reprint of issue after this one. But this is also one I wanted, which is not as expensive. Issue 14 variant from this series is like $5,000. I kind of wish I had bought one. <laughs> but for now, I'm just happy to get this one. So we have uh, Captain Marvel number 13, the Amanda Connor variant. Very awesome. So happy to get this. I regretted not buying it for 37. I paid 150, so it was expensive, but not like end of the world expensive. And I did get one third of it paid with the Macari credit I had. So I'm actually really happy to have this. Now issue 14, that's a ghost. That's gonna probably cost me. Ooh, I don't know if I'll ever own it unless I become rich somehow. <laughs> All right, awesome. Okay, this is a Ziggy item. I forgot to open it up on Pop Fun to Play. Uh, I just figured I want to open it up and get it put away properly. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so what do we have in here? I'm gonna have to move the camera, I think. We have a Ziggy uh, corkboard. Super cool. And the cool thing about this is it's in its original plastic. Uh, the sticker's a little damaged, but it's half there, which is cool. And it's unused. I uh, I don't know if... There, I'll move it like that. But I think you can see the whole thing. Yeah, that's super cool. I do like the cork boards because it's like a giant piece of artwork. So like a poster almost. But it's a cork board. Okay, that is really cool. Really happy with that. Okay, this one's funny. This I bought last August. So I lost this package. I had no idea where I put it, and I just randomly found it. I was like, oh, there it is. So what was that? Almost a year later. <laughs> but uh, it's 10 comic books. I paid $32 for it. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so I bought these last summer for my friend James. He's a really good artist, but he doesn't really have like an income coming in from his art. So I'm trying to find ways to try to monetize his art a little bit for him so he could focus doing more artwork. So I kind of bought this lot for him. So these were three bucks a piece. They're all blank sketch covers. Uh, I'm going to try to start doing maybe like one a week if he's willing to do it. I don't know if he'll be motivated or not. I'm going to sell them for him, get a little commission, maybe like 25% of what we sell them for. But I'm hoping he can do a lot of really awesome sketch covers. So we have Thanos Rising number one, uh, Mighty Avengers number one, Avengers number one, Savage Wolverine number one, Avengers Arena number one, X-Men number one, he likes to uh, draw villains and bad guys, so I just have to finally, you know, like Avengers bad guy to draw on there, an X-Men bad guy, a Scarlet Spider, so like a Spider-Man bad guy, Avengers number one, Uncanny Avengers number one, and X-Men number one. So I think he could do a cool cover on all of these. It would be amazing. I would love his artwork. I think he's a really talented artist. I'll go by a link to his Instagram in the description below. And I kind of want to find a way to kind of promote him a little bit because I would like to see him spend more time doing artwork and earning a little bit of an income on his art and a little bit less just, you know, regular job working because his artwork should be out there in the world more. Okay, so this, uh, I wrote three comic books. I paid $9.19. Uh, I don't know if I paid $9. I paid $9 each. That sounds really cheap and I'm not sure what's in it. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, I don't remember what's in this package. So let's figure it out together. Okay, we got a uh, priority mail cardboard inside. whole box wrapped around a bubble envelope. Okay, let's pull it out to see what it is. Oh, okay. This is cool. So we have some uh, Miss Marvel variants. I don't remember buying this. I don't even remember this cover. This is a cool cover. Wow. So we have a Virgin variant. I'm not sure what series. I guess it's a Magnificent Miss Marvel number seven and number 38. So yeah, I probably paid $9 total ship just to get that issue. And then I get a couple more of the fill in my collection that I don't have. All right, really happy with these. These are awesome. Especially that one. That one's so cool. 
All right, this was a fun lot. It was $27.83 for 23 comic books. So what is that, like $1.20 each? Super cheap. I think I got a great deal on this. Some of these issues I know are worth a bit more. Uh, some might only be a buck or two, but overall, I think it was a great steal. All right, let's open this box and see what's inside. All right, this is how it looks in the box. It was just a pile of comic books with a little bit of newspaper around them, so not too bad. Okay, so let's see what we got. Uh, okay, we got Flippity and Flop number 36. Fun cover and pretty decent shape uh, for the dollar, whatever I paid. I, that's a cool comic book for that price. Uh, Fox and Crow number 97 with Stanley and his monster. I really like that. I am working on this series a little bit, so a dollar something for that is awesome. Uh, Peter Pork Chops number 50. Looks to be in pretty decent shape as well. Really happy with that. Uh, Walt Disney's Goofy 1053. So that's probably a Del 4 color. Uh, the white's pretty white. It has a couple stains, but not too bad for a dollar something. Uh, Nancy and Sluggo Summer Camp 1034. So that's Del 4 color. It does look like it has a big water stain right there. But again, you know, I paid a dollar 20 ish each. So I'm okay with that. Uh, she's Josie. Not sure the number, but it's probably under 10 because I know the ones under 10 don't have a number. So that's actually pretty cool. Even though it's a little bit lower grade for a dollar something. That was awesome. Uh, okay, Betty and Veronica, number 224, water damage. That dollar's probably about what it's worth. Uh, Betty and Veronica, 189. It looks like it has a chip out of that corner, so it's a little bit lower grade. Uh, World of Jughead, 183. That's cool. Uh, Betty and Veronica, Summer Fun, number 18. Awesome issue. I think that one has a bit of value, so dollar's great on that one. Uh, Archie, 183. That's a cool issue. Uh, Archie, 400. So I must have bought this because it's uh, Archie lot, but there's a couple better issues mixed in, so that's fun. Uh, that Wilkin Boy, number four. Jughead, 183. Archie's Joke Book, number 152, with a fun cover. Uh, Reggie and Me, number 65. Betty and Veronica, 108, so a nice earlier Silver Age one. Uh, it's got some chips and like, some about the name, but it's kind of sloppy. Still a cool looking issue. Uh, Archie, 150, the fun bowling cover. Archie 149. I think these are all semi early Silver Age, so that's good. They have a bit of value. Uh, Pep 191. That's a funny cover. Betty and Veronica 159. Laugh 213. And uh, Laugh 285. And Betty and Veronica number 107. It's a fun swimsuit cover. I think that one has a bit of value. Okay, very fun lot. Okay, this is a fun box of comic books I bought from my friend Sean a few months ago. Uh, I saw some autograph stuff and just some really cool looking comic books. So I figured we'll go through the box and see what I got. Okay, we're gonna start going through Sean's box of comic books. Uh, okay, some of these might have come from someone else. I'm thinking now. Now that no dollar book off comic books screams Sean. He's always digging through the dollar box there. So. Uh, okay, we have Miles Morales, number 30, the variant edition. Actually, I think he bought this at Midtown, four or five forty nine. dollars So he had an extra copy he decided to part with. Uh, Betty and Veronica, number three. He knows I want all the Adam Hughes issues. I just think they're so undervalued. So I'm kind of hoarding onto those. Uh, my friend Alex is telling me to stop it. He wants some. <laughs> uh, Thor, number 11. Thor, number 10. Thor, number 9. I think he just cleared out his Thor run. Thor, number 7. Thor number 18, love that cover. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 67, a cool villain cover, love that. Spider-Woman 14, a fun cover. Fantastic Four number 26, a Phoenix variant. Ghost number 32. Uh, this? I wanna make sure it doesn't stick to anything. So I'm gonna put this actually behind the plastic because it felt sticky. Uh, Ghost 26. Veronica 178. He keeps buying these for me because he knows I kind of want them. And they have a little bit of value too, especially the swimsuit issues. So Betty and Veronica number 251. Uh, Gun Honey number one. Okay, next stack. Uh, okay, we have Usagi Ujimbo 161. Uh, Loki number one that was signed by Daniel Kibblesmith. That's cool. Uh, Strange Tales 123, a nice older Marvel comic book. The spine's a bit damaged, but still really cool to get. Uh, Daredevil number 62 in really nice shape. It's probably like a 70, 65, 70. It's got a little bit of soiling right there, but I think that would clean up. And the whites look pretty white. Uh, Strange Academy number one. That's awesome. 
Conan number nine, awesome cover and in decent shape too. I love getting old Conans in higher grade. Ghost Rider number 20, that's amazing. A Violent Love number one, this one's signed by uh, Frank Barbier and Victor Santos, that's awesome. Old Man Logan number 43, The Ultimates 2, number 5, that's a pretty cool cover, I like that cover. Uh, the original Yusugi Yojimbo number 10 with a turtle team up, that is awesome, really cool comic book. That one probably had a bit of value, I forget how much I paid him for that, but I'm sure I paid him more for that. Uh, Marvel Super Heroes number 32, uh, We Live number 1, I believe that's a first print. I would like to get a few copies of this because I think this series, once they do a show of it, it's going to do really well. Cool comic book. I love like survival tale sci-fi stuff. The Last God number one. This one's signed by Philip Kennedy Johnson. That is neat. Uh, Flaming Carrots number 27. A Turtles mashup issue. That is neat. Capes number one. I think this is a preview for Invincible, I want to say. So that's really cool, actually. That one has some value. Uh, Timeless number one. He said he bought a couple copies. So he decided to part with the one to give to me because he knew I would love it. And I do love it. So we have uh, Eniac number one, Justice League number 30, Kang the Conqueror number two, love that cover, awesome cover, Wonder Woman annual number four, uh, Fortnite zero point number two, Batman Fortnite zero point number one, the variant cover, that's a, I think a Kenneth Rockefeller cover, I love that one, that one's cool, uh, Aquaman two, Canto three number six, Submariner number 19. I need to work on that series. I don't have too many issues from it. Uh, Vigilante number two. That is cool. Ghost number 19. Ghost number 11. Venom number 22. Vengeance of Vampirella number 20. Uh, Vengeance of Vampirella 18. Vampirella 14. He's addicted to buying Vampirella and Red Sonia comics out of the dollar bins. And then he's like, I bought too much. So he has to clear it out a little bit. <laughs> so I end up getting a whole ton of them. Vampirella 13, Vampirella 7, and Vampirella Red Sonia number one. Love that cover. Okay, let me clear these out. This is my, my butt. Okay, next stack. We have a, a beautiful cover to Vampirella number four. Vampirella number five. Vampirella number 9, Vampirella number 10, uh, Spidey Sinister War number 1, Variant Edition. That one's a beautiful cover. Oh, it's David Akiyama. No wonder I thought it was beautiful. Uh, the Hulk number 11, that's a fun Wolverine cover. Guardians of the Galaxy number 1, the B variant, signed by Donny Cates. That is really cool, actually. Uh, Vampirella number 11, number 3, number 6. Uh, the Incredible Hulk number 182, uh, lowish grade. It's got like pencil all over it, and I think the Marvel stamp was out. I'm not 100% sure. I know it had a few issues that kind of brought the value down, but it's still really cool, and I'm not sure if I have a 182 in my collection right now, so I'm actually really happy to get that. We have Black Panther vs. Deadpool number 1, signed by Ricardo Lopez Ortez. Uh, Champions number one, the cool J. Scott Campbell variant with Miss Marvel on the cover. So I'm actually really happy to get that because I'm trying to get everything that she's on. A uh, Dark Horse Comics number 11, a cool Godzilla cover. Far Sector number one, uh, Darth Vader number three, the first appearance of Dr. Afra. That's awesome. Amazing Spider Man number 16, the annual, the first appearance of her. The value of this issue is going up because of that. Uh, Avengers Forever, number three, a really cool monster variant. King Spawn, number one, awesome cover. Love that one. Doctor Doom, number two, 2099 variant. Lady Death, number four. Lady Death, number five, a really beautiful variant. Lady Death, number two. Okay, one more stack here, which a little bit of a magazine here, so I gotta pull those out. Oh, and these are all backwards. Right, let me flip these, see what we got. We got uh, Venom the Madness number three, Robin 126, the first appearance of the female Robin, uh, a Virgin variant, a Deadpool, not sure the issue, but that's awesome. Deadpool Black, White, and Blood number one. I absolutely love these Black, White, and Red covers. I always say, but every time I see them, I just think it just looks great. And then issue number one, I guess one of these is a variant. Uh, Deadpool number seven, a Chadwick Boseman memorial issue. Deadpool number 25, a beautiful Mark Brooks cover. Uh, Venom number 155, trading card variant. 
Venom 26. That's a cool cover. Uh, Darth Maul number three. I think this is like an international release of it. So that's really cool. Uh, Deadpool one, another variant. So I think one of, yeah, I think those go together. So I suspect that some of these I got from someone else and not Sean. Because I usually he doesn't find these kind of stuff in the dollar bins. I don't remember though. It's been a while. I might even mix two boxes together though. Uh, Deadpool, don't know the number. Deadpool number 10. Uh, Transmetropolitan number one. That's awesome. Deadpool number two. Uh, Deadly Hands of Kung Fu. Uh, don't know the number. I do need to see what issues I still need. I would like to finish that set. Okay, and then the final thing in this box was a 9.8 Marvel Comics 1000, the Comics Elite Virgin variant. That is really cool. Let me move that so we can see a little bit better. Yeah, that is a really neat 9.8. I'm going to just throw that right into my graded comic box. Super cool. I don't really go out of my way to get, you know, graded comic books. When I can get them for a great price and they have a cool cover, I'm actually really happy to add to my collection. And I like, what I like about this one too is in the background, they have all these like key issues pictured. Really cool. Okay, this is a package up on eBay. It's $14.99. It's a one in 100 ratio variant. So that's kind of a weird comic book. Uh, I just thought I had a cool cover by an artist I enjoy. Let's open it up and see what's inside. I do like when comics are shipped in these mailers. Just keep them, you know, the Gemini mailers keep them in good shape. And the person used blue tape, so that's good. And then they had it inside here, which it's it's taped a lot, so it's kind of hard to get out. But it is blue tape, which comes up really easily. I appreciate a good blue tape. I think anyone who sells comic books should have blue tape to tape their comic bags to the comic boards so that it's, uh, you know, you can easily peel it off and you're not, you know, pulling on the bag, destroying the bag to the point where you might accidentally damage the comic itself, which is not what we want. Okay, okay and then we what we have is we have the uh, Merca and Delpho 1 in 100 variant of Mom number 1. I thought that was a really rare limited issue, so I don't know how many of these they made, but I'm really happy with that. I love her artwork, and uh, I think the price I paid was an awesome price for this. All right, very cool. All right, this is one comic book. I paid $24.90. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so this comic book's in a Gemini mailer. I always say Gemini mailers are a great way to ship comic books. Uh, he did use packing tape in the middle, though, which I'd rather use if there was a basking tape. But, it, you know, I can cut it with a scissor, and it's coming right out, so we're good. Okay, we have a uh, sticker, robot sticker. Hall of Justice comic and collectibles. That's, oh, it's double bagged. <laughs> Or double boarded, I mean. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah, okay, this one's cool. Uh, so I think we, I think it's Stephanie Hahn's cover of Miss Marvel. Really beautiful variant. I'm actually really happy to have a copy of this because I love the cover, and uh, I'm just I was afraid the prices might jump, so I grabbed it a couple weeks ago. All right, that's awesome. Love it. Uh, okay, so this is a box of 56 comic books. I paid $32.21. So that's what, like 60 cents a comic book? I think it was kind of like sort of a mystery box. Of I wasn't quite sure what was in the lot. I saw some pictures, but it was cheap enough. I figured I would gamble a little bit and see what I would get. So let's open up the box together and see what's inside. Okay, so in the box, we got paper, and then it looks like they made a brick on the bottom piece of cardboard that's sort of taped to <laughs> okay so sort of a break let's pull that out and start going through the stack okay i forget if i saw anything of value in this stack or what caught my eye there must have been something but at 50 cents a piece i don't, just have to find a couple comic books and it's kind of worth it so we have fury number three empire number six uh oh demon days number one that's cool teach from Oko cover i actually didn't know if i had a copy of that if I didn't, it's fine, because that's just awesome to add to the collection. Uh, I mean, if I do have it, I just... You know, it's like a 4 or $5 comic book. Uh, Booster Gold 33. Uh, Marvel's number one. Awesome cover. That one's kind of beat up, though. Oh, we have a second copy of this. Okay, so I probably noticed that, and I grabbed it. Oh, and the Adam Hughes, I believe, Gwen Stacy number one. That's really cool, too. 50 cents for that is great. Uh, but then you get stuff like this is kind of not really worth anything. Drifter 6... JLA Classified 14, JLA 78. Oh, we have a second copy of this. So I could probably take the extra copy of this, put it out in my shop for five bucks, 
and then the extra copy of the Peach Momoko comic book for like four or five bucks and get a third of my money back. So that's actually kind of cool. The Rise of Arsenal number three. She-Hulk number 19. I need to finish putting that set together. Uh, Avengers Thunderbolts number four. Children of the Atom number one variant edition. So that's cool. I wonder if that has any value or if it's just like a cheap variant. Uh, Outsider number two. Outsiders number 20. Midnighter number six. Green Lantern number 13. Uh, Rescue number one. Kind of like that cover. That's a cool cover. Robin 143. JLA 94. JLA 91. So there's a lot of like kind of cheaper stuff, but there's also a couple of really cool comics mixed in. And that's kind of why I bought the lot, I think. Because even the cheap stuff, I can kind of bulk out at 50 cents a piece and get my money back. Uh, Alien number one variant edition. That's actually really cool. Uh, that's probably another reason why I grabbed a lot. Iron Man 2020 number one. Uh, Reptile number one. Faces of Evil Cobra number one. Year of the Villain number one. 25 cent. Eye Candy number one. Captain America 36. Another one of these. Starman number 80. Green Team number six. So this looks more like a clearance lot that they just peppered in a few nice things, but that's fine. The few nice things were worth it. Hulk Man 38. Uh, Incredible Hulk 83 variant edition. I wonder if that one's rare or not. Anytime I see a variant edition, it could just be like a B cover and not really worth so much. Or it could be like a 1 in 10 or something a little bit more rare. I've never seen this cover before, so that one I'm going to have to research. Excess Swords. It just says part one. I don't know if it's number one, but it's a $7 cover price. It's a nice thick issue, so that's pretty cool for 50 cents. Uh, oh, this is fun. The Magnificent Miss Marvel number two. I do want to finish putting together all my Miss Marvel sets. So that's probably another reason why I grabbed this lot. Just I like filling in collections when I can get stuff for like 50 cents. Uh, Wonder Woman 42. The Creep number four. War Heroes number one. Uh, Hinterkind number eight. Uh, Grendel number 26. That's cool. Older Grendel issue. Fallen number one. Men of Wrath number one. Semper Fi number three. Zombies number one. That's kind of a fun comic book. Uh, Untouchables number four. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, Lady Demon number four. Buddha's Palm number six. I always like the watercolor look of the interiors of these. Pretty cool comic book. It's kind of fun to add for 50 cents. Uh, Birds of Prey 103. Captain Marvel 15. I think it's this issue. The issue after is a key issue. This one we have to double check. That one actually might have some value. Uh, old Looney Tunes comic book from the 70s, but really beat up. Avengers 15. Green Arrow 11. And Dark Horse Presents number 43 with the corner crease. That's cool, though. Uh, Secret Empire number 8 with the awesome Mark Brooks cover. Love that. Okay, so that lot was pretty cool. Nothing, like, super exciting, but... So now as you buy a cheap lot like this just to get some fun, you know, stuff like this, relatively cheap. Okay, so this is a box of 79 comic books I paid $37 for. So that's like 40, 50 cents a piece. It's kind of one of those like kind of mystery lots where I saw some pictures of what's in the lot. Not all of them. So uh, it might be a bunch of junk. I don't know, but I think it's going to be fun to go through. All right, let's open this box together. This box is just full of cardboard and newspaper. It's too big for me to show you on the camera. Okay, inside the box, the person packaged them up in these, like, bag bricks with cardboard on the edge. I mean, for a big lot like this, it's probably not too bad. Let me get into these and see what's inside. Okay, brick one. Uh, looks like a bunch of indies. I might just bought it because it looked like a bunch of fun indie stuff for cheap. So we have feathers number one. Feathers number two. Feathers number three. So it looks like a full set of these. Feathers number four. Feathers number five. And I have no idea if any of this has value. You can always let me know if it has value. Number six. Uh, Scarlet Traces number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Uh, the Massive number one. I think that one has a little bit of value. These are cool though. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five, number six. Let's put these are backwards. Uh, we have clone number two. I always like the covers on these series. Uh, number three. Oops, these are all upside down. Uh, number one. I wonder if that has a little bit of value because it's number one. 
and oh number one i guess a variant okay that's cool uh demonic number one i do like all these are in bags and boards so they look in really good shape a murderer number one a uh, dmz number one i think this one has some value so that's cool number two number three number four so it looks like a whole run of these uh what is that number five number six number seven these are upside down uh number eight so i kind of remember seeing the dmz number one and that's kind of why i bid on this lot and for the price i paid i think that issue alone kind of covers most of it number nine the number one number 10 uh number 11 and oh and these are like a little bundle of unprotected ones oh and then there are some walking dead ones that's cool always like getting walking dead comic books they always have a little bit of value and they're just cool comic books so we have 118 we have 119 number 120 oh, flip flip the flip all right these are all backwards and forwards. Uh, 128, 131. Okay, oops, I gotta flip these. Uh, number 132, number 133. Okay, that's cool. I don't know if any of those, like, I don't know if that's, you know, key issue, but there might be a key issue mixed in those. Okay, second brick. Actually, let me clear out the sides. Okay, we have uh, Umbra Book 2. Uh, Rocket Girl number 1, like the cover of that a lot. Unknown Soldier number 3 of 4. The Jesse James is a Dead Man. It looks like a promo comic book. Saucer Country number 1. The Troll. Don't see the number, but that looks like a really cool indie comic book. So that would, probably would have been hard to find. Uh, the Unwritten, number five, beautiful cover, number one. Uh, Powers, number 31. Powers, number 35. Uh, DMZ, number 12. So we have more DMZ comics. Number 13. Number 14. Number 15. Number 16. So it's like a whole run of these. Number 19. Number 20. Okay. Then we have another stack. We have Debris number one with a really beautiful cover. Really like that cover a lot. Uh, Wolf number one. That's a cool cover. I do, when I buy lots like this, I love getting fun, just like indie comic books like this for a really cheap price. Uh, the Life After number one. It says it's a variant cover. That one looks really cool. Thin number one. That looks like a creepy horror issue. Uh, okay, we have Two Guns number two. Two Guns number one. Wild End number one. That's a fun cover. Freaks of the Heartland number one. Annihilator issue number one. Tomboy number one. It's a cool looking comic book. Tomboy uh, number one as well. So it's like a variant. Love the cover on that one. That one's great. Uh, How to Prevent the Transmission of the Mocking Dead. That sounds interesting. Grim Leaper number one. That one's cool looking. Uh, Spirit Leaves, number one. Really like that cover. Kind of remember seeing the covers to that series in the lot, too. And I thought they looked kind of cool. So for the price of hey, yeah, I got a great deal, I think. Uh, number two, that's an awesome cover. Uh, Universe X Special Edition. Earth X Wizard Edition. Uh, Marvel Spotlight Daredevil 595. So that's a, like a preview thing. Uh, Irredeemable Free Comic Book Day. So we have some free comic book day stuff. The, you know, this stuff doesn't really have much value, but it's still fun. And uh, Secret Wars preview. Okay, so that lot was a ton of fun. I think I got a lot of really cool indie stuff for a really cheap price. Uh, okay, so this is a package of 40 comic books. I paid $19.43. Uh, it's a mystery box again, so it's like a lot. I don't know exactly what's in it. I just saw some pictures of what's in it. Uh, it's fun sometimes to gamble a little bit, and sometimes you get some really awesome stuff. All right, so let's open up the package and see what's inside. Okay, this one... Oh, this one's a weird package. It's like a brick inside with no padding other than the whole brick is saran wrapped together. <laughs> Oh, and it looks like this corner has got a bit dinged up. So uh, at least it was cheap, but not the best packaging job. Okay, we have the stack here. It's a bunch of newer books. I sometimes like buying a lot like this just because I don't have a ton of it just to fill in the collection. 
they're all going to have a little bit of a damaged corner in here. But, you know, it's not a key issue or anything of big value. So, uh, I can live with that. So, we have Avengers 46. World War She-Hulk. Uh, Empire number 4. Avengers 43. Avengers number 44. Uh, no, not a Phoenix cover. Just a Phoenix storyline. Uh, Avengers 42. Avengers 45. So I think these are just all A covers. So nothing of super value, but just for the price I paid, they're fun to have. Avengers 41. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 70. Spider-Man stuff is always fun to get. Spider-Man 69. Number 64. You know, this one is, you know, again, the corner is a little bit dinged up, but not terrible. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 65. Number 66. Number 59. Number 60, number 61, number 58, number 57, number 63. So it's a lot of Spider-Man. Actually, for the price I paid, this is a cool lot. Just to get a whole bunch of modern Spider-Man comic books for that price. Uh, Commanders in Crisis, number 4. It's a fun cover. Uh, number 11, number 5, number 8... Number seven, so there's a whole run of those. Uh, Iron Man number eight with a beautiful cover. It's a triple reflection cover. Absolutely love that cover. That's an awesome cover. Uh, Iron Man 10, another awesome cover. Number 11, all these are really awesome covers. Number six, uh, too bad this one's really beat up. Otherwise, I mean, this is a fantastic cover. Uh, Deadpool three, Deadpool black and white number one. I love the red, black, and white covers like that. That's an awesome cover. Uh, Marauders eight. New Mutants 8, X-Force 7, New Mutants 9, that's a really fun cover, Excalibur 7, X-Men number 7, X-Force number 10, this one looks a little bit torn up, it's okay though, I got them cheap, Spider-Man Spider-Shadow number 1 is a variant, I wonder if this one's rare or not, I'll have to look that one up, uh, Marauders number 9, Sinister War number 2, Fantastic Four, number 34, really fun cover. Uh, number 28, an awesome Mark Brooks cover. Uh, Fantastic Four, number 32, beautiful cover. Another Mark Brooks cover. Uh, number 31, awesome Mark Brooks cover. Love that one. Oh, these are all really cool. And uh, number 30, another Mark Brooks cover. All right, those are cool. I actually really wanted these covers. Uh, some of these are a little bit more beat up than I would like. But for the price I paid, they're great as just a place marker in the collection until I buy another collection with them in better shape. But for now, I'm thrilled with these. And when I do upgrade them, I you know even with a little crease, I can get two or three dollars out of that. That is fine. Those are awesome comic books. Okay, on to the next box. Ooh, that was a ton of fun. Check out this cool shirt I got from my friend James. I'm trying to convince him to do some sketch covers that I think I'm going to try to sell for him. Hopefully, I'll have some comic books that he's drawn some awesome sketches on in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.